Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we will be designing these cool uh, navigation bars in Adobe XD um, and these are very simple and quick to make. We will be using different techniques to make these and uh, without further ado, let's just get started. Before we get started, uh, tell me right now in the comments below which one of these animations do you like the best? One, two, or three? I'm looking forward to your comments. So to start off the project, we will start with a basic artboard. We can change the size, shape, and, and things around that. Let's just make it a small artboard like this one. So we will make one on each. Now I've changed the background color on the right here to this uh, light gray so that you know you can see the navigation bars a little better. So to start off we will create a basic rectangle, just a basic rectangle. Um, and uh, let's make sure that the height is about 120 pixels for this one. And uh, depending on how big your artboard is, you would want to change the size of this navigation bar. So we will give this um, a slight border radius. Let's try 20. Yeah, 20 is fine. And the border I'm going to remove. And let's give this a shadow of 12 by 42. That's what I'm doing here. And uh, let's reduce the opacity of the shadow to 10%. Perfect. Uh, now we will just place this in the center of this artboard so that you can view it better. Okay, so for the icons, what I'm going to do is pick icons from this icon pack called Eva Icons, which is open source and uh, it has both fill and outline icons, which I really like. So I'm going to pick icons from here, both outline as well as fill. Okay, so I've gone ahead and placed all the solid icons that I could find, home, bookmark, add, uh, user as well as settings. I will be giving the link to the icon pack down in the description. So here the first thing that I need to do is select all of these icons and I want to duplicate them. So to do that I'll say command D and they will get duplicated over each other. As you can see one duplicate of each one has been made and each one is now named layer 2 but that's fine. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pl I'm gonna make a ellipse here and the ellipse should be uh, should have no borders and it should be in this case a uh, slight red that we're working with reddish pinkish red almost perfect and um, I'm gonna place it right here and I'm gonna cut it so to cut it I'll say command X or control X and double click on this since this these are actually layers uh, inside layers so we will select these till we get inside this group and once we are able to select the house here I will paste the circle behind this house perfect and you want to make sure that the circle is right about the size of uh, or the diameter of the width of this house so I want to select both the circle and the house and I want to say uh, command shift M and as you can see, this now covers the entire house and the house is now red. Um, one more thing that we need to do is place a circle behind uh, this navigation bar, which will act as our uh, indicator in this case. And we will give this the same color as we've done with this. Perfect. And I'm also going to give this a shadow, a light shadow 12 by 24 uh, of the same color. So this is kind of a little trendy um, Thing, uh, something trendy which has been going on it's now uh, become a part of UI design is same color shadows um, to give a, like a different appeal to it and I place this behind the navigation bar so so you'll be able to see how what I mean yeah so this is what I was trying to do and I want to place it at the center of this house perfect now what I want to do is create another circle yeah so there'll be a lot of there'll be like three circles in this design. I want to cover the red circle behind the navigation with this and I want to make sure that this also covers a little more of the center of the second icon like this. right? I want to place it behind everything else but in front of this ellipse which is ellipse 7. So ellipse 8 and ellipse 7 will select both of them together and I'll say command shift M or control shift M to mask these. 
Now, if I rotate, if I rotate the outer circle, this circle will basically rotate and come here. One thing that we need to do is make sure that this circle is slightly bigger so that it actually covers the entirety of this circle as well. Perfect. Now, if we rotate this uh, clockwise, anti-clockwise, whatever, we will get this rotation, right? So this is how we're going to make this effect. Quickly duplicate this by selecting the artboard and saying Command D or Control D. And I want to basically rotate this and uh, rotate the outer circle so that this circle is here. One thing that you notice is that this circle is not perfectly centered. So what do we do? We just move the outer circle a little bit so that we get a perfectly centered circle to this element. And one more thing that we need to do is make sure that this element as well has the same circle as this. So first of all, we will go inside this mask group and we'll select the ellipse that we had placed behind this and we'll make sure that this ellipse is about a little further away from this. Not too much, a little. Perfect. And now as you can see, the gray icon which was behind the red icon is now visible. That is how the, the smooth rolling out effect will take place. Now what we want to do is go inside this uh, mask and just copy this circle over to this layer. Now, um, if you copy this circle, I want this circle to be behind the bookmark icon. Uh, like so and we'll select both of these together and say command shift m control shift m to mask them now one thing that i need to do is just place this here so we will de delete the topmost layer here and place this over this and make sure if once if we go here just drag this circle out a little more than we what we did with this uh, first element right that is how we will perfectly time our animation Okay, so to make sure that you can animate this circle all throughout rather than creating duplicate elements, we will, on the second artboard, move the outer circle, which is masking this, to the right like this. Um, and for the third artboard, if you want to animate it uh, one last time, uh, we will just have to rotate it like so, right? and just move it a little bit like this and also rotate it like this just to place it in the center a little bit more so we will let's try the prototype and i'm not sure if this will work uh, to be honest but let's try this out anyway so if i click on the plus icon and move it to the third let's try this prototype now so if i click on this see how it animates perfect if i click on this okay so it animates from the bottom how do we tackle that we tackle that by doing a little bit of math. We'll have to make sure that the degrees that this circle is, the outer circle has been rotated is opposite. So 195, we'll first of, first of all, we'll have to make this uh, more like an increased number from 195. So that was 195. So we'll do minus, say, 200. Let's try this out. So if I go to the second artboard, and if I prototype this, See how it actually does rotate it, but again, it rotates it too much. Okay, so to tackle the problem of uh, rotating to the next element, what we'll do is in third artboard, if you wanted to rotate, uh, we in the first, uh, in the second artboard, we had about 195 degrees of rotation. In this one, we will want to have 360, so we're just increasing the rotation every time. And in this case, the circle might appear slightly above. So what we want to do is just adjust the circle a little bit so that the effect takes place normally. So let's try this out one last time. And if I click on the bookmark, see how it animates. And the third try as well, see how it animates perfectly. And we'll keep on making this to uh, move forward. I want to thank Adobe for sending me this awesome care package all the way from Illinois and uh, this was really awesome of all of you guys who support me, uh, all my subscribers who have always uh, helped me grow and also all the people who work at Adobe and have noticed my work before. So for the next effect, the next effect is even easier. So we'll remove all these circles and everything right here and all these duplicate elements will also go away. Perfect. So uh, in this one, first of all, we'll change the color a little bit. I want this. So for the second uh, animation, what we want are these outlined um, icons rather than the filled ones from Eve Icon Pack. And um, 
Here it, the animation will be even simpler. So for the first state, we want this to be a slight uh, blue right here, something like this. You can change the color, of course, later on in the project. So like a slightly bluish purple as well. And what I'm gonna do is, since this is 68 by 68, what I'll do is reduce it to about, um, say 40 by 42 by 42, or maybe 44 by 44. So something like this, and I want a text to be there below this. So I'll say home like this. The font that we're using is Helvetica Noi, nothing special. And I want this to be smaller, so how about we go 16 on this, perfect. And um, about five, it should be about five pixels from this uh, icon right here and centered uh, based on the icon, perfect. Below this, what we wanna do is create, a, first of all, create a rectangle which pans from the center of the first icon to the center of the second icon. So a little more than the center, of course. And I want the border radius to be 100 or, or the maximum amount of border radius. It could be anything. And I'll remove the, I can change the border. Blah, blah, blah. So for the next step, we will introduce uh, an ellipse or a rectangle here. So we'll go for a rectangle for this time. And we want the rectangle to be the same uh, size as this. And let's also make this the same, somewhat a similar width as this as well. And I'll also give this a border radius of 200. I'll remove the border of this and I'll make sure that the fill is the same color as this color here. And I'll just place this right here towards the corner of this rectangle. And I'll, I'll make sure that this blue rectangle is below the white rectangle. And if I select both of these and say Command Shift M, it'll mask this, perfect. Now I want to make sure that this is centered with this. So just adjust it like that. And this will create uh, our, um, our underline, which is animating. So in this case, what we wanna do is, uh, we wanna bring this rectangle to the left right here. And we wanna bring the inner rectangle to the right like this. And I'll tell you why in a minute, right? And uh, once I do this, I just wanna duplicate this artboard. And in the second artboard, I'll just change this from home to bookmarks. And I'll bring this text to the center of this icon. And I'll make sure that this icon is also the same size as this one right here. Change the fill to uh, this blue and this icon will become bigger again, just like all the other icons. So uh, 68 by 68 is what we're striving for right here. And uh, let me just adjust it and there we go. That's right about it. And I'll just, yeah. So, uh, and we'll change the color from this blue to uh, the gray that we have here back again. And for this underline, what we wanna do is we wanna bring this um, outer mask from the left to the right so that we create this uh, dot over here as well. And I just want to make sure that this is centered. Perfect. And uh, just to prototype this, we will bring the arrow from this bookmark to the second artboard. We want to auto animate it, of course, and we want ease in out for this animation and 0.8 seconds is fine. So let's try this out. So if I click on the bookmarks right here, see how this smoothly animates to the second one. And since we're uh, changing the direction of the mask, it gives us that smooth uh, transition or elastic effect to the second artboard. And we can do this for the same, uh, uh, for the third effect as well, or for the third icon as well, just reduce the size of this. And here we will just move uh, this blue from the left to the right like this, right? And we'll keep on uh, alternating this uh, animation always. And um, that is all that was for the second design. Okay, so for the third animation, we want this uh, simple um, design here again. And we wanna change the background from this white to this dark black, just pitch black. And we want all these icons to be white rather than gray by default. And let's reduce the opacity to about 25 or, you know, there's two less, 35, yeah, perfect. And we will create a rectangle on top of this navigation, something like this. And we want it to be in the center like this. And I'll change the border and border radius to from zero to about 100, whatever it goes up to. 
and I want this to be slightly thinner than what it is. Perfect. Uh, the next step is to pick up the pen tool, which is on the left here, and I want to basically create a, a shape that goes from top to here, and it slants on the edges like this to the bottom here. And I want this to be the same from the other end as well. So just visually try to create uh, it as perfectly as possible. Uh, it doesn't have to be 100% accurate. Perfect. Um, now I will remove the border and I'll give it a fill, but we'll give it a gradient fill here. So linear gradient. And I want both the sides to be white. And the bottom side, if you select it and you reduce the opacity, I want it to be zero. Perfect. And I want to change the opacity of this entire element from 100 to about 50, even less, 35. Perfect. And uh, the icon should be below this, ideally. And so if I select the icon right here, and I want this to be about 80% in opacity. So as you can see, all these are dimmed out, and only this is putting light on this element like that. So um, to animate this, we will duplicate this. We'll bring both of these here. But one thing we'll do in the second artboard is just reduce the height to zero here like this. Okay, so one thing that I learned while making this design for you guys is that let's not make this 0% in height. So we want this to be about say one pixel uh, in height, right? So that way we can basically animate this, uh, the height of this without worrying about anything else. So we want the height from 100 to let's take it to a, from one to let's say 100 and just bring it to the bottom just like that. Perfect. So this actually has two artboards just to animate it once, right? And so what we'll do is click on this bookmark, bring the arrow to the second artboard as always. And we want this to be ease out 0.8 seconds or 0.6 seconds is better. And if I click on the second artboard, just the artboard itself, and I drag the arrow to the third artboard, I can change the trigger from tap to time. I want that, zero seconds delay, and ease in out 0.2 seconds, let's say ease out 0.2 seconds. And let's animate this. So if I click on bookmark, see how it animates and the light flashes for a second, that is the effect for the third one. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and also click that bell icon right next to the subscribe button. So I'll see you guys every Monday and Thursday. God bless.